Welcome back to Cloud9 Plays, Resident Evil 4, The Mercenaries, and the Xbox 360. We are back in the village as Ada! Yay, because I love Ada. I love Ada because she has more powerful weapons than her predecessor, Leon. Leon can go fuck himself and all, honestly. I'm not even sure why I just switched to grenades, because I'm pretty sure that Ada already has a maximized running speed, and she probably does because she's doing the exact same animation as she would with the gun. I'm also glad that they actually do add the knife as an addition from separate ways. To nod to that, they actually remembered to equip Ada with a knife because her previous counterpart in the GameCube version of this game actually does not have a knife available. I'm going to use this time to get all these timers over here. And then maybe uh, get the timer in there and then start getting kills. Actually, I probably should shoot, uh, I should shoot Maria, because I think you have to shoot enemies in order to prompt everybody else to start spawning. Because in addition to the, like, five or so enemies that just automatically spawn on the map, you have to wait for more enemies to respawn. And I missed. I love using Ada because she has a rifle, and the rifle is a one-shot kill on most of the Ganados, especially the Plagas. Always remember to use the rifle as your anti-Plaga weapon. The Plagas are annoying. That guy is probably going to throw his hatchet. I wonder if Ada can actually... Okay, so apparently the only weapon that Ada can't run at full speed with... The only weapon that Ada can't run at full speed with is the rifle. I'm going to shoot those two guys over there. Get it all in combo time. Get some more combo time kills. Combo time. That guy was right behind me and he freaking told me even though I didn't respond. It's like, you didn't follow the hint! Smack! That guy, Maria's about to throw the scythe, the sickle. Uh, Don Esteban's right behind me. Don Esteban in front of me, just got his head popped off. I'm gonna turn around and hit the Don Esteban right behind me. Holy shit, hello, good sir. How are you doing? I'm gonna get hit. I actually managed to shoot the, the throwing weapon. There are Chainsaw Sisters coming after me, which is just fine, because Ada doesn't have that much problem dealing massive amounts of damage in a relatively short amount of time, especially with the TMP. The TMP's really powerful. God damn it. Okay, where is she coming from? I didn't see her. Probably it might be about to die. Uh, I didn't just die. Yay. I'm going to throw one of my incendiary grenades over there on the off chance that maybe the Isabella Chainsaw Sister already took enough damage to maybe get killed. Said I'm going to use... No, she didn't get killed. Now she's dead. I'm going to get my TMP back. Even though... No, the TMP is a two-handed weapon. So actually, now I have to switch to the fucking grenades. So I guess that the handgun and the grenades are the only two weapons that Ada can have equipped in order to maximize the running speed. I am going to reload before uh, the Maria Chancellor sister to get back up. Stumble over, thank god. You are dead, everybody's dying, huzzah. I'm going to reload my TMP to free up some inventory space, pull out a terrier grenade once again, and just keep moving, yay! I actually got some more freaking uh, bullets for my TMP. Fantastic. I have a really high kill score, which is why I'm going to do everything in my power to keep it as high as possible. Keep it going. Use a grenade. Get some items. Especially first aid sprays, because I already got damaged a little bit. Are there any enemies I can kill right now? Yes, there are, but they haven't spawned yet. Somebody's about to pop through the door. And somebody did just pop through the door as soon as I said it would happen. And get chicken eggs. And, uh, be ready for the next Chainsaw Sisters, because here they come, including a Plaga. Fuck yourself. And I'm gonna equip the egg. I'm gonna equip the egg, because the egg also doubles as a type of, uh, thing you can use to get maximized running speed. Isabella did the longer of the, uh, Chainsaw animations, which is why... Uh, I could run right around her. If she did the sooner one, she might have actually hit me. Somebody might blindside me on the left, which is okay, because in the time it takes for me, somebody to actually hit me, I might actually kill Isabella Chainsaw Sister and stun her, but she didn't die. I failed to keep the kill score going. Too bad. And I'm gonna throw down a grenade, because Maria is coming right in my goddamn face. <laughs> and reload the TMP. Isabella is gonna start coming after me once again, and she just died because I already did a shitload of damage. I highly recommend that you guys use the TMP because the TMP delivers the TMP delivers damage really quickly and efficiently. 
And none of these guys uh, just stop, which is why I'm going to throw the incendiary grenade. The incendiary grenade is useful because the incendiary grenade doesn't have any latency between the time that it hits the ground and the time when it actually detonates. So there might be a chainsaw sister behind me, which is why I'm going to run around Dun Esteban on the left in order to avoid getting hit. And he just tried grabbing me and failed. Don't even really care about a uh, kill score right now. I'm going to lure everybody to this corner over here. I'm pretty sure there's another chainsaw. There's another pair of Chainsaw Sisters coming after me. It's good that I have a bunch of enemies over there, so now, since I still have a grenade in my inventory, I'm gonna kill everybody with grenades! I did it! I also used Maria to blow up the dynamite over there. Is there another Chainsaw... Are the Chainsaw Sisters coming after me? I can't tell. I'm gonna take out the Punisher now, because I actually haven't even used it yet. Punisher is relatively useful because you can penetrate. You can, uh... Th that is, um, the bullets will hit crowds of enemies and make for pretty efficient crowd removal. Oh crap. So please don't kill me, I already made it pretty far. Uh, da -da. anti plaga Hop. Here comes the Chainsaw Sisters. I'm gonna throw down an incendiary grenade to stop these two guys directly in front of me. And then pull out the TMP and get ready to shoot. I'm coming right through the fucking door okay. Uh, Don Diego. Don Diego's gonna blow. Don Diego just blew. But the Chainsaw Sister is probably getting up right now. There she is. It's Don uh, Diego on the right. And tripped up both of them, thank god. Actually, no, apparently... It is just really convenient because I don't have to keep switching between the goddamn inventory screens just to maximize my running speed. This is not good. Now I have a Chainsaw Sister coming after me. One of these Chainsaw Sisters has to die, like, right the fuck now. One of them did just die. Diego's about to hit me. Diego failed to hit me, but he needs to get out of my fucking way. So I can finish killing Maria. Maria's dead. There are no more Chainsaw Ladies, so now I can just focus on combos. Because the mini-bosses are apt to interrupt your multiplier because they require a lot of attention just to kill them before they kill you. And I'm gonna keep my TMP out. I actually get to save a lot of time because I don't have to keep switching between the goddamn inventory screens to keep up my running speed. The only time I haven't gotten yet is in this house over here. And m maybe I should have used Don Esteban's uh, spontaneous entry in order to get in here. I have max health right now, which means that the difficulty on these guys should be maximized, which means that they should run with reckless abandon into this shed right now, just in time for me to activate the barrel. I'm gonna activate the barrel right now because I don't give a fuck. Don Esteban's probably the only guy who got killed by that. He was the only guy who got killed by that because he only got one, one kill on combo time. I'm using my TMP because I love the TMP and just get as many kills as humanly possible. Here come a bunch of enemies, and they're all just on Esteban. Don Esteban just got lit up like a fucking light. And they're all standing over there for whatever stupid fucking reason. And just fire blindly into the crowd. Reload. Fuck you, Don Diego. More kills. I need lots of kills. Never stop getting kills. Please don't kill me. I almost got killed because, thankfully, Invincibility Friends actually stopped me from getting killed right then. And explosive barrel time. Explosive barrel just killed one person. I hate it when explosives are wasted like that. Diego just failed to hit me. Diego failed to hit me again. I got a couple Diegos coming after me. I think Diego means Frank in Spanish. I'm going to throw a hand grenade because there's somebody right next to me right now, but I really wish he would die, but he's not going to... He's not going to have a chance to hit me. Instead, I use the reload uh, cheapness. So, by the second that Ada just got uh, prompted to stun from the explosive, I already got a full clip of ammo. I highly recommend you guys do that whenever there are explosives in the vicinity. It's really convenient for getting a full clip of ammo just in time to use it. Honest, the man's going to try shooting me. I'm going to kill him. Fuck you for sneaking up on me, even though you were right next to me. It's not really sneaking. I'm just stupid. And... Uh, gonna use the Punisher now, because I haven't used the Punisher, and I'm completely out of freaking, uh, TNT ammo. Thank you for standing directly in my way, Don Esteban. Yes, I did just try shooting you. How dare I? Now I'm gonna shoot Maria over there. I don't think I've ever used these guys' names as frequently as I have in this commentary series. Fop. Maria's gonna try coming towards me once again, but not before she's dead. And Diego's right there, so I get to just stand here and keep shooting. I'm also really glad that the game doesn't allow you to see your character just standing in place, as though to avoid the silliness of watching somebody stand perfectly still while armies of zombie monsters come after them. There is, um, I think, yep, there's only one combo time left. 
Uh, maybe the enemies were just prompted to spawn. Yes, they were. That's why Diego is coming around the shed. I'm gonna use him to keep my multiplier going, but the multiplier failed to continue because he spawned the fucking Plaga. Fuck you, Plaga. I'm not even gonna bother killing the Plaga right now. Instead, I'm gonna pull out my handgun to run over here with the maximized running speed that Ada has. I already broke Leon's high score because Leon is way worse than Ada in this game. Where's the Plaga? Plaga needs to die because he pissed me off. There he is. Uh, I missed. Uh, God damn it. Die. Okay, now I need to get some more kills. The best way to do that is to run, especially where the enemies will just be standing all in front of each other like that. Maria just burned me. Please don't do that again. Diego just grabbed me in time, and I did the instant kill on him. Now I get to use my last... Uh, first aid spray, and it's okay that I'm low on healing items because the level's almost over. I only have five seconds left. Rifle time. I only have three bullets. Yay. I missed, but I got 134,540 points. Huzzah. To underscore how much more effective Ada is than Leon. As though they really just wanted you to play Leon in the first place. I'm not even sure where this screenshot takes place, because this is another set piece that does not take place anywhere in the campaign. As though you have to have a light behind Ada, because just to accentuate the beauty that they want to throw directly into your face. So that was the village as Ada. Ada has a lot more options to stun enemies, especially the Chainsaw Sisters. She also can kill the Chainsaw Sisters pretty fast because her TMP is relatively powerful. And although I didn't use it in this particular run, you can also use the rifle to stun the Chainsaw Sisters. Highly recommend you use whatever measures you can to, to trip up the Chainsaw Sisters because they're much less effective when they're not standing up. None of these guys are that effective when they're on the ground because enemies can't attack you when they're on the ground, unless of course they have the Plaga. Uh, not much more to say, really. Uh, I'm happy to be using Ada. I'm also happy to be using a character where I don't have to freaking switch between the inventory screens repeatedly just to keep a maximized running speed. She already has maximized running speed when she's holding every weapon except for the rifle. Very important you remember that distinction because running with the rifle will slow you down. Or rather, it just doesn't create as much of an advantage otherwise. This has been Cloud9 Plays, Resident Evil 4, The Mercenaries, on the Xbox 360. We have completed the village with Ada in the next part. I'm gonna do the castle as Ada! And how much more effective she will be because the rifle can kill the crossbow guys. Crossbow guys can all go fuck themselves. I will see you guys next time.